handful of states are holding primaries today, including right here in Florida. Former President Donald Trump expected to cast his ballot in West Palm Beach later this afternoon. While the presidential contest is set, it's still important for voters to show up for several important local races. CBS News Miami's Terry Hornstein is live outside a polling station in Pembroke Pines with a look at some key races on the ballot there. Terry, good morning. Hey, good morning, Maribel. Well, you can still cast your ballot if you're a registered Republican in the presidential primary, despite the other candidates besides Donald Trump dropping out of the race. Now, as far as Democrats are concerned, well, President Joe Biden, the only one submitted by the Democratic Party, so you don't need to vote for that if you are a Democrat. And so, as you can imagine, things are kind of off to a slow start because of that, but there are still some key, very important local races today. Despite some early rain, voters trickled into the Southwest Regional Library in Pembroke Pines Tuesday morning to cast their ballots. Civic duty, right? We live in a country where you have the right to vote. It's important to use it. In Pembroke Pines, voters will pick a new mayor, the first time in decades. Our last mayor has been the mayor for like 30 years, Mr. Ortis, and um, he's not running again. So we have a choice as Pembroke Pines residents, which direction we want to go. Commission seats for District 2 and 3 are also open. Lauderdale-by-the-Sea residents will also choose a new leader and two commission seats as well. NC Ranch Lakes has a referendum up for vote. In Miami-Dade County, Surfside residents will decide who will be mayor there. The former mayor, Charles Burkett, is running against current mayor Shlomo Danzinger. Voters will also decide on a commission seat. There is a referendum South Miami residents can vote on as well. Important reasons, voters say, to get to the polls on this primary day. Oh, it's very important. It's very, I, I wish everyone was out here voting. We live in a country where it's important for you to exercise your opinion. If you don't, you're stuck with the opinion of others. So I think it's really important for you to make sure you're heard. Yeah, so again, a very slow start out here this morning, but we're going to be out here all day long, keeping an eye on things, and we'll let you know how it go, uh, how it goes. Now, polls close tonight at 7 p.m., and also after that, we'll be tracking all of the results as they come in. We're live for you this morning in Pembroke Pines. Terry Hornstein, CBS News, Miami.